Welcome back to Mason Talks. So after yet another dud of a performance against the New England Patriots, a lot of fans are calling for the Browns to look for Baker Mayfield's replacement in the near future. And I think that is a reasonable opinion to have. Because looking at Baker Mayfield in recent memory, he has been wildly inconsistent. He has not necessarily been franchise quarterback level, and he definitely hasn't been superstar quarterback level. So I think it's fair to assume the Browns would be better off with better quarterback play. But I also think just saying replace Baker Mayfield is easier said than done. And I think that when you look at the realistic quarterback options the Browns could pursue for their starter in 2022, I don't know if they're necessarily that much better than just sticking with Baker Mayfield. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Well, what about Aaron Rodgers? What about Russell Wilson? What about even Deshaun Watson? Yeah, those guys are better than Baker Mayfield. Yes, those guys could possibly be traded. But saying the Browns should trade for them is unrealistic. I don't think that it's something that can just happen. Because when you look at these other teams who are going to be in the trade market for those superstar quarterbacks, they have significantly better trade packages to put together. I mean, if the Philadelphia Eagles wanted to come out and let's just say get Russell Wilson... They could offer the Seattle Seahawks up to three first-round picks in this draft. The Miami Dolphins have shown that they would be willing to trade multiple first-round picks for the likes of Deshaun Watson. There are other teams, like the Broncos, who have shown that they'd be willing to put together pretty serious trade packages for guys like Aaron Rodgers. Those superstar quarterbacks are going to get massive, massive trade offers from teams that I really don't think the Browns can compete with. Because while the Browns could trade this year's first round pick, you can maybe look at next year's first round pick. That's pretty much it. I mean, we don't really have the trade asset arsenal that these other teams have. We did in the past. We did when we were tanking and when we went 1-15 and 0-16. And and we had the trade, dra- you know, the, the, the draft capital then. But right now, We don't necessarily have that treasure trove of draft picks to trade for an Aaron Rodgers or for a Russell Wilson or for a Deshaun Watson. We don't have the trade packages necessary. So I don't think that option of replacing Baker Mayfield necessarily is realistic. And then when you look at the other two options, they just don't really make sense because you could go through free agency. But if you look to sign a quarterback in free agency, if the Browns want to get a replacement for Baker Mayfield in free agency, it's not going to be some stud. I mean, we're looking at names like Marcus Mariota or Mitchell Trubisky or possibly, you know, 40-year-old Phillip Rivers out of retirement if he wanted to come out of retirement and stop coaching high school football. Those are more realistic names. If you want to replace Baker Mayfield, you need to you need to shut Aaron Rodgers and Wilson and Watson out of your mind and start thinking Mariota or Trubisky. And listen, I think Marcus Mariota, if he could stay healthy and if he was in a solid you know situation, maybe like the Stefanski offense with the Browns, maybe he could be good. Maybe he could have a Ryan Tannehill esque career resurgence. But it's not really that you know, realistic. I don't think that's a, I don't think the, the, the Marcus Mariota career resurgence is something you'd be willing to, to throw Baker Mayfield to the side for. I don't think that that is necessarily realistic. And then if you look towards the draft to get a, a quarterback, I think that you just get stuck right back in that gruesome cycle that you've been in for, for 20 years. Now, CBS Sports had an, uh, a mock draft article by Ryan Wilson yesterday where with the 16th pick in the draft, he had the Browns take pit quarterback Kenny Pickett with, again, the 16th pick. And listen, that's always an option. Drafting a quarterback with the first overall pick is always an option. But think about how long it took this team to find a quarterback the level of Baker Mayfield, who I would say has been average in his career. It took the Browns 20 years to find an average starting quarterback in Baker Mayfield. You think we're just going to go in the draft 
and immediately find somebody better than him, somebody of a franchise quarterback level, it doesn't just happen. It's not just that easy. Replacing starting quarterbacks isn't easy. You're not going to get a superstar through a trade. You don't have the draft assets or the or the or the players necessary to do so unless you're going to be willing to part with guys like Nick Chubb and 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 Greg Newsome and guys of those caliber, which I think would be a horrendous mistake. Marcus Mariota and Mitchell Trubisky maybe, maybe, but even then those guys aren't necessarily that much better than Baker Mayfield either. They might not be better than Baker at all. And if you really want to go to the draft, if you really want to start drafting quarterbacks in the first round again, that's when you got to start thinking about blowing things up. And the Browns aren't going to do that. They're not going to do that. They just signed a bunch of dudes to massive extensions like Wyatt Teller, Joel Batonio, and Nick Chubb. The Browns aren't going to do that. What the Browns are going to do, and this might be horrible for for some people to hear, what the Browns are going to do is they are going to stick it out with Baker Mayfield for at least two more years. And that's just the situation they are in right now. The Browns have Baker Mayfield as their starting quarterback for the foreseeable future. So the conversation needs to stop being... Well, where you know where can the Browns get a better quarterback than than, than Baker? And the the conversation needs to become, well, what can the Browns do to make Baker better? Because that's the only hope we have right now. The only hope the Browns have of better quarterback play is Baker Mayfield improving significantly, like we've seen him do at times throughout his career. So that's where we're at. The conversation of replacing Baker Mayfield is unrealistic, and I think we need to to stop having that conversation. Let me know in the comments, do you think the Browns should replace Baker Mayfield? And would you be fine with a guy like Marcus Mariota taking over the reins next year? Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I'll see you in my next episode. Goodbye.